In today's video, we're pitting the newest set, Battles of Legend, Monstrous Revenge, versus the previous new set, Wild Survivors. What's up guys, we're back with another epic versus battle. We have the brand new Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge, which has all the new 25th anniversary rares versus our previous set that we opened many, many packs to get the Hungry Burger Wild Survivor. So this should be a pretty fun video. Two boxes to be opened in this video. And of course we'll be giving away every card in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Which set do you like better between the two of these? I feel like most of you guys are gonna be going to Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge because it's a bunch of cool reprints, but maybe you really like the burger. I mean, I personally love the burger. All right, let's go. We have 48 packs here. Let's start off with Wild Survivors, a classic collector rare set. I think it was two from the back we could do on this one. Can we get, if we get the Hungry Burger in one box, I'm going to be a little bit angry after how many packs we had to open. Okay, there's a super rare right off the bat. That's not a Hungry Burger, nothing to worry about. Will we get a 25th anniversary rare, which at the moment, I believe it is three per case, so about one every four boxes. So probably not going to get one, but you know, that's how it goes. You just got to believe that we can pull something we have. Okay, just a secret rare. Nothing crazy there. So in this video, we have potential to get collector rares, ultra rares, of course, the 25th anniversary rares. So a lot of potential, some good stuff we could pull let me know what your favorite card that's a super rux and special let me know your favorite card from any either of these sets there's a lot to choose from from battles of legend monsters revenge there's uh, the fan favorite over on the left of wild survivors of course the hungry burger there's also some other good cards in there as well we got ball drake we got sage We've got a volcanic shell and we've got a duality. That's a really nice card. That's definitely gonna help the value of Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. And obviously they are still in pre-order at the time of recording and editing the video. But when you see this video will be the first day they're available to everyone. So the prices will probably be a little bit different on the screen than what you would you know, normally see on TCG Player today. All right, so we're starting off. Duality looks good for Monsters Revenge. I feel like Wild Survivors is gonna have to pull really, really well to stay in this, but They've done it before. The uh, the older sets have somehow won this before. Super Polymerization, another nice secret rare. Very good, very good. Let's do two from the back here. Let's see if we can pull. We got an Over Raptor, cool. For the dinos, let's get some dino action. I've done, there's something about Wild Survivors and Collector Rare sets where I cannot avoid the Rux and Special. It just happens way too often. Two from the back. We have Puppet Pawn. We have Starlet Papillon, the Final Cross, the No Punk. And Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss, Secret Rare, very cool. Wild Survivors, your chance now to pull a Collector Rare, about one in three. So 25th Anniversaries are slightly rarer than Collector Rares. So there's, a, I did it again. I can't help it on this set. I think I just stopped doing pack tricks on there because it was just inevitable I was gonna rush the special. But yeah, slightly, slightly more rare for the 25th Anniversaries. You get about three per case versus Collector Rares, you get f or four per case on average. So a little bit different. Oh! <laughs> And we get one, the 25th anniversary secret rare. Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. The Labyrinths show up again. 25th anniversary secret. Okay, Wild Survivors are in big trouble. I say you need the burger. Okay, all right. Every video I've done for Battles of Legends so far has had a 25th anniversary pull. I guess that's a good sign for our stream tomorrow. Speaking of, we will be, it is tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, it's tomorrow, that's right. Yeah, so Saturday, tomorrow, at the time seeing this video, we will be streaming until we get the legendary Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight of Ma Dark Magic, or whatever he's called. We will be streaming until we get that guy in 25th anniversary. He's got a long name, okay? Cut me some slack, but when we pull him, or we will be trying to pull them tomorrow. So make sure you come hang out for the YouTube stream tomorrow. We're also streaming on Saturday for, you know, a little bit of uh, Battles of Chaos openings. We're gonna do a Lightning Overdrive opening for the Black Rose Dragon Starlight Rare. So if you guys wanna see a couple streams this weekend, they are coming up, they're gonna be fun. And hopefully we will pull, you know, we've had great luck so far with this set. So hopefully we will pull what we're looking for on Saturday. Also, if you're enjoying this set and you wanna get some for yourself, check out my link down below with Sassy Auto. He has some available right now. You can use my code. I believe it's Ruxin Legend, but it will be in the description as well. If you don't, you know, if I'm wrong about that, you can still get 5% off. Check it out. Should be a good time. Oh, I did back-to-back -back Wild Survivors. I wasn't supposed to do that. Whoops. Okay, let's see what we can get. Maybe that means we're going to get a collector. We have every single pack has been a Ruxin special. We haven't even pulled an Ultra yet, actually. So those have been really bad. I think our score is at zero over there for Wild Survivors. And uh, on the right side, on the other hand, we are dominating Sprite Smashers and Sky Striker Ace Azalea. That's like one of the best secret rares. So uh, yeah, this is kind of a beat down right now. I think I got to do back-to-back -back Battles of Legend because of the back-to-back -back Wild Survivors. Let's see. We, we, and of course, we, we pulled the 25th anniversary right away. So 
We are starting off pretty hot. We have the Mother Spider, pretty creepy Sprite Carrot, and the Milche Queen Tiramisu. Good stuff, good stuff. Will we pull a collector rare in this video as well? Come on, we have the There Can Be Only One. Super Soaring, I'm not gonna rock some special. Frostosaurus, aha, the Hungry Burger. Just a super rare though. Unfortunately not the big collector rare, but hey, the burger has made an appearance. That's a good sign. Maybe he is leading us up to the King Burger. Here we go, we'll have to talk with, uh, the king of burgers. We have Math Mech, we have Sage of Wisdom, and we have Teller Knight Tolmaeus. More secret rare action. Where is the collector rare? We need it. If we get a collector rare, what's the best collector rare in this set again? I think it's like, it was, was it a dino? I think it might have been. Oh, a steak your soul. All right, so burger and then steak. Different steak, but hey, we'll take it. Not bad, that's a good pull. We're finally at least on the board, I think. That should at least be a dollar. But obviously with the 25th anniversary card, it is not looking promising for wild survivors. We have a Nightmare Corruptor e -blay. All right, a pretty annoying card to play against. Come on, we at least got an Ultra out of Wild Survivors. That is good. We turned it around. Will we get another one? There's a Vanquish Soul. Continue, question mark. Just wondering. Let's go. Let me know how you're enjoying the new Battles of Legends set. Are you picking up any today or locals or have you already picked some up? What did you pull? Make sure to let me know. Junk Archer, that is a nice secret rare because there's some pretty good cards to pull in here. And we, at the time, I still think we don't know all 20 uh, 25th anniversary cards. So there's some good stuff to potentially pull out there. And at the moment, we are not pulling anything for Wild Survivors. Two from the bag, Battles of the Legend. Give us an IP, give us a Zeus. Give us a, uh, what is it, a Junk Synchron? No, it's it's a Salt Synchron. That's what it's called, I think. That's what we want to pull. Right now, at, at the time of recording this, that's the top card. Two from the back. Here we go. We have Transcendosaurus Drillignathus. <laughs> that's a long name. All right. Transcendosaurus Meteorus. Okay, super rare. A lot of transcending. We've got some dino action. Battles of Legend. Can you give us that Dark Magician? I mean, we haven't gotten it in 25th or in Secret Rare in this. The Dark Magician guy. Herald of the Pure Light Secret Rare. We still got about 10 packs left of each, so there's still a decent amount of chances here for either side to pull something crazy. First is True King Lithosagium. Okay, we have Kandal. Giant Rex, the double evolution pill. Oh, we got some here. We have the Incantation Pence Plume and Vanquish Souls, the heavy burger. He loves to show up. Not the burger, the burger. It's just there to taunt us. Okay, ultra rare. Two from the back on Battles of Legend. Will we pull something crazy? We have what, Caddy Corn? Okay. Final Cross and a Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Shout out to Farpa. A few packs left. Will we get something crazy? I feel like I might have more Battles of Legend left. Did I open a couple of Wild Survivors on accident? Probably did. Preparation of Rites, Lost World. Xeno Meteoris, another super rare. Okay. Last couple packs. Well, more than a couple, actually, but will we get something big? We need something big like a Collector Rare out of this set. Well, it's not a collector rare. Okay, Battles of Legend. I mean, I haven't seen a 25th anniversary two in one box yet, but in theory, I guess it could happen. Let's see if it can happen right here. On Eyes Rebellion, we have Performal Pal Classic Rebo and an IP Mascarena. All right, more value being added to the Battles of Legend side. Somehow I am three packs ahead on the Battles of Legend side. So let's, and they're still dominating and they haven't opened as many packs. Let's see, we have a Shadows Light Secret Rare. Okay, doesn't seem terrible. Wait, we got another one of these. Yeah, this uh, this is kind of a beat down. Who's surprised? I don't think many people are too surprised by the result of this one. Number 72, we got Final Cross, the Punk, and the Golden Rule. Very nice. Three packs to go, or one more pack to go before we have six on each side. That'll be 12 packs left. Don't slip, the Dogs of War. Black Mamba, oh, Kobe Bryant. We've got the uh, Forma Pal and the Exto Hydra Secret Rare. All right, six packs left of each. We're officially on even footing. Here's the score right here. Uh, doesn't seem like even footing to me. Wild Survivors, come on. You can do this. We have Soul Eating Over Raptor. We have Super Soaring. We have a Ruxin Special right to a Super Rare. This is where it becomes a complete domination right here. Monsters Revenge pulls a crazy 25th anniversary second time. No, it's the Ooze Giant. Oozing away. 10 packs left in this opening. Will we get anything crazy? One, two. Gotta believe Collector Rare sets. Come on, Wild Survivors. If you're a fan of Collector Rare sets, let me know in the chat or AKA the comments right now. That was a super rare. You got to cheer on your, your side right now because they're getting destroyed. A lot of times I'm wrong about the score live because, you know, I'm not calculating it, but I know I'm right this time. This is a beatdown. We have Kobe. We have the Praying Mantis and the Danger Nessie. Four packs of each. It's getting down to the end. Who is going to end this thing with an epic pull? 
Will it be one uh, or the other? Will it be both? Will it be neither? We're about to find out. We have Incantation. We have another super rare. There should be something else in these Wild Survivors packs, but who knows? It might not happen. Two from the back on Monster's Revenge. We have Photon. We have Additional Mirror. We have Orimbonius, the Avatar of Malice. Okay, we got the Danelle, and we've got a Courageous Crimson Cavalier, Brandamante. Okay, that's a long name. Wild Survivors, come on. You got to pull something. You need it big time. Give us a dino. No, that's not it. That's not a dino. Battles of Legends just cruising to the end. No Dark Magician yet, though. I would like to see the Dark Magician secret rare. So far, nothing. We have Noah Punk. We have Mother Spider. Dark Arm Dragon. All right. And a Tri Edge Master. All right. We had a pull of that in yesterday's video. Go check that video out. Two backs to go. I'm going to switch to Battles of Legends so Wild Survivors can end it and maybe make a comeback at the last second. Here we go. We have a XC's Bento. Starlet Papillon, we have Sharakusai, the Link Decoder, and RGB Rainbow Lucian Secret Rare. Two packs to go, Wild Survivors. What will they get? Will it be an Ultra right here? We have Transcendosaurus, we have Incantation, Vanquish. Oh no, oh no, nothing there. It's gonna come down to the last pack. Do they even have a chance? Will the best collector rare do it for them? I'm not sure. We have Grand Mantis. We have the Celestial Apparatus, Performa Pal Karibo. Ghost Fusion and a Rocket Coder. That's one of the best secrets. That might have just put it out of reach. All right, final pack. Will this bring them back? Wild Survivors Rhyme Action. Will there be a Collector Rare or an Ultra Rare in here? I think we've only pulled two Ultras from this box. So in theory, it should be one of the two. Uh, let's find out. We have the Incantation Kendall. We have Miscellaneousaurus. We have Lost World. Come on, big card right here. Fire Formation 10 key. Eradicator Epidemic Virus. It is in the last pack. Will it be big enough? Mind you of the 10,000 hands. And if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And a Ground Zeno. That is, I think, the best ultra, at least at the time of opening it. When it was a new set, it was the best, best ultra. But I don't know if that's enough. Here's the score on the screen. It got a lot closer at the end, but I think the Battles of Legend probably took it. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.